Hello my dear students, today we are going to discuss three diagrams which are dealing with the competitive examinations, entrance oriented questions and any board exams which you will tackle as a sister concern of my Jim's Academy, Yahoshua Institute of Mathematical Sciences Academy Institute. Uh, I will make it very simple for you, this Kirchhoff's second law uh, related problems regarding this electrical circuits. Okay, just consider this to be a brain gym so that it will be very easy for you. If any doubts arises, I will be there for you. Continuing with the first question, uh, it's a sure short question even if it is a complicated one. It will have this much dislike structure, lots of resistances. Three cells are there, but just consider the question will be like that. What will be the Kirchhoff second law equation if you consider the rule A, B, E, F, C, D, A? A, B, E, F, C, D, A. Then, first of all, there is a cell now by conventional practices. Earlier, I have said in the YouTube uh, uh, tutorial classes, uh, no, please refer that so that I will revise also what role it is there in the earlier classes. Okay, consider the E1 cell, A, B, E, F, C, D, A, then the first cell, E1 is taken. Now, put this, the circuit is from positive to negative, put this cell over here, okay, E1. Next, what is the resistance encountered? R1. The current is I1 through it, okay, I1. So, minus is taken, minus I1, R1, conventionally. Positive side, current will be taken as minus. I, I am teaching you like that. Minus I1, R1, minus minus I1 R1 which is written over here, minus I3 R7 which is written over here, same direction now, it is coming same direction, so uh, same direction I3 R8 it is written, then coming I4 R9, okay, same direction, I4 R9, then it is going over here I7 R12, minus I7 R12, minus I1 is going over here now, then I3 current is coming over here, which is written over here. Uh, no, no, I1, I1 current is coming over here, I1, R3, R3 is resistance over here, the same current I1 is coming over here. And what is, the, what is this thing? A cell, earlier we have written one cell now, another cell which is placed in opposite, the positive, it is encountered by the another positive of the cell. So, write this cell to be minus, minus E2. This loop is complete. D, C, H, D. A D, C, H, D. Uh, if you have any doubts, call me. I will rectify, clarify everything. It is so easy. So, uh, please like, share, subscribe my videos. Okay, and this DCHD. This is the thing under considerations. No, look, there is no cell over here. So, starting from I9. Okay, this is the same direction as earlier one. No, this direction, same anticlockwise direction. So, minus I9, R4. And, okay, this is against this. Is coming against this now i7 so plus i7 r12 okay again it is anti-clockwise direction r6 i8 r6 then comes i9 r5 is equal to zero this loop is okay then b e f c b b e f c b this thing one one cell is encountered over here so it is anti-clockwise direction but the direction should be from positive to negative you know but starting from i3 now uh, okay B E B E current first of all we will write the E2 over here plus E2 then it, the current is against this flow you know I have taken earlier uh, in a way that from positive when the current is emanating from the positive it should be taken as a negative but here it is towards this no so the starting from here plus I3 it is towards this positive so plus I3 R7 same direction plus I3 R8 okay again along this direction I4 R9 but against this it comes that means from the positive like this comes so minus i2 r2 minus i2 r2 plus this cell okay write this cell over here like that okay it is done cell always write this if a, if a cell comes against this give minus sign that's it under consideration um anti clockwise direction minus uh, uh, here uh, uh, anti clockwise direction positive clockwise direction negative and write the cell equation cell cell value over here then comes the second uh, a b f g a what is this a b f g a this thing is under consideration so uh, this cell is here so i ah, this i current is split into two i1 
and i2 uh, having passed over this r1 it will become i4 and i2 become i3 then joining to the 12 i3 plus i4 gives the same i which is starting from here so circuit is complete then considering the mesh a b f a b f g a so from here it is doing okay i1 is same direction minus okay right to for the cell over here e then negative i1 into r1 same direction i4 negative i4 into r4 and the internal resistance is there no same direction minus i into the internal resistance okay this is complete then a b c d f g a this whole loop thing no so this whole big thing minus i2 minus i2 into r2 okay the cell is given over here right same as this thing same the same thing over here but from emitting from this i2 it is taken as negative i2 into r2 minus the same direction i3 into r3 this current into r3 minus i4 into r4 minus i current into i current into the internal resistance okay plus okay cell is given and next fold mesh is b c d f b b c d f b this section which does not contain any cell so uh, taking the same anti clockwise direction to be minus i2 r2 minus i3 r3 but against these two things i1 comes down so plus i1 r1 is equal to zero okay the, uh, the terminal examination practice questions will look like somewhat simple simple uh, simpler than these two things so loop a b e f a a b e f a this small thing okay that means uh, a cell is there write the cell v1 over here okay this is uh, uh, this is against this thing you know ah, it is positive to negative thing so minus i1 r1 then comes uh, minus i3 r3 it is over here now oh it's okay minus r1 minus i1 r1 minus i3 r3 minus i3 r3 minus i1 r1 plus v1 is equal to zero then comes uh, uh loop b c d e b that means uh, b c d e b this big uh, section so there is a cell now so minus this cell so write it same as there v2 okay v2 cell is there then emanating from that the current is going now so minus i2 r2 minus i2 r2 r2 is there but again this r3 comes now so minus i2 r2 ma plus i3 r3 this thing i3 r3 again this minus i2 r2 comes plus i3 r3 plus the same uh, em the voltage apply uh, voltage from the cell is equal to zero then the next loop a b c d e f a okay the third practice that means uh, put uh, what are all the emf provided here v1 and v2 which is arranged okay negative positive negative positive it is aligned so write it as v1 plus v2 okay it is aligned so not like this it is aligned in the same direction so this is added to this <laughs> then comes the direction a b c d e f a a b c d e f a so again see a b section ab section is oh post from the positive it emanates no so ab section is minus i1 r1 bc section is minus i2 r2 then comes uh, oh, nothing so minus i1 r1 minus i2 r2 plus v1 plus v2 it's over so if any if you have any doubts i'll be happy to hear from you please like share subscribe